Cooper to the final of the 15th contest for the Thomas Cup. The most prestigious trophy in world badminton. And to what might just be Malaysian badminton's night of nights. The opening singles has just started. Yang Yang of China on this side of the net plays the Malaysian number one, Ms. Boon Sidi. A packed stadium regatta. Wondering if the great success of Malaysian badminton on Tuesday night and their win against Indonesia can be continued. But tonight they take on the holders of the Thomas Cup and clearly one. the world's number one badminton nation. First blood to Yang Yang. There he is, the 1987 world champion, serving at one love in the first game. Service over, love one. And the first mistake from Yang Yang. But that's what he's famous Service for. Over. One love. Steep smashing in both angles. He could hit that smash straight across court and it's very deceptive. One love right at the start of the match. here of course supporting Malaysia with me in the commentary box tonight Tom Barker of Denmark the former All England doubles champion and the vice president of the International Badminton Federation a good match and prospect tonight Tom. yes I think so Yang Yang has played three set and set up over the tournament but so has Misbun Misbun had a poor start at the beginning but his match against Gichu uh, in the semi-final although he lost the match he played a much better match than we have seen before Four. during wow. these two weeks of play here in Nicaragua. this match of course a repeat of the third of the preliminary group matches China and Malaysia playing in the same group they played here in this stadium last Saturday China winning on that occasion by 5-0, five 5-0, five five zero. and at that time Misbun had a lot of difficulty in handling Yang Yang, but Malaysian badminton came surging back last Tuesday with a marvellous 3-2 win over their old rivals Indonesia. from the left-handed Yang Yang. Yang Yang, of course, the current world champion, winning his title in Beijing last year. But the last time these two players met in the finals of the Grand Prix Championships in Hong Kong, it was Misbun who came out on top. So, let's hope he remembers that tonight and that all his lovely shots work. Is that it is a, an extremely 
extremely difficult job to play the opening match. Both the players are in for a good start for their team and they are in fact carrying their whole team on their shoulders. It's going to be very interesting to see how they both can handle that very stressed situation. It is in fact the question which of the players can keep their nerves under control and keep, keep the overview of the match without getting too excited. Oh, just out. Roars of anguish from the crowd. Taking up Tom's point, I think Yang Yang would be favourite in the temperament stakes. Very composed, experienced player, Ms. Bunsidek. Much more mercurial, capable of brilliant shots like that, but also capable of losing the place at vital stages. But a few more like that will do his cause no harm at all. He serves 2 6, first game. Pretty loose serve it was. Lisbon, loose on the net there. You must play very tight against this man. He knows it. That was just Eight, too tight. Two. riding on the shoulders of this Malaysian because his fellow singles players service over 8-2 Sampai Len Bauscher from England refereeing his last major event in international badminton he retires as an umpire after this tournament 9-2 No, the feeling, Tom, is that Fukok Kyong and Rashid Sidek to follow really are up against it. Visbon is the man with the chance. Yes, uh, the Malaysian team strategy must be uh, that they need a singles win as early as possible. But Visbon is in for a very, very hard job here. And here we clearly see some of the things he must try to avoid is giving away easy on forced errors and uh, he has to get into the game and keep the shot of ring. otherwise he is in trouble against Yang 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 has made no mistakes so far well, two. and Miss Bus plan must be to get into the game and try to play without making mistakes Chinese number one rather running away with this at the moment 13-2 ahead oh look at his control 14 game point two so he reaches game point they've only been playing for eight minutes tonight the famous Thomas Cup service over 14 2 anything loose anything short punished by this man the world number one Two, 
first game to Yang Yang. First game won by China, 15-2. China couldn't have had a much better start. No, but uh, it would be very interesting to see how Miss Bun will handle now the start of the second game. When he played against Ichuk Sugiyatsu in the semi-final, the first game was an exact duplicate of what we have seen now. He didn't get any points in the first game, but came back in the second and played a brilliant game. So in order to keep the excitement alive, we'll hope that Misman will recover now. He might be playing at the better side of the net, uh, because now he'll be playing up against the drift. And it should be easier for him now to control the shot. Second game. Level. Play. Yes, this giant Nagara Stadium. 10, 11,000 people here tonight. There is a very noticeable drift coming down the court. Yang Yang now has a little more trouble in controlling the shuttle. He's been playing at what the players think is the better end. Yang Yang is so deceptive. Oh dear. Is there a drift also slightly from left to right, Tom? Yes, I think that shot was influenced by the drift, which is coming from the left side of the picture. Uh, and that drift could have carried the shuttle just outside the side of it. And there you see an example again. I one, think that Miss Bun's shot was all right, but the drift will carry it out. And surely Miss Bun has to adjust to that pretty soon. Service over, love one. Called out. Bynesman gets a sympathetic round of applause. Very sporting crowd here. Malaysians being great badminton fans. Service over. One all. Try to encourage their man, even though the world champion makes a mistake. There he is. 25 year old. Service all. all. Nan King. Service over. One all. One hole. That's a bit loose. Well, you won't see much better net play than that. Two or three shots so tight on the tape. Lightning reactions from both players. Yang Yang looking as if he expected to do that every rally. Three, one. Yang Yang with an ability to bring the shuttle down very steeply from half court shot frequently in the armory of a good doubles player this man can do it as well Four, one. Five, one. 
the crowd gasp at the speed of that backhand cross-court passing shot. Usman's clear, not all that bad actually. Six, one. Anything short of a length, he's devastating, isn't he, Tom? Yang Yang at the moment seems to have everything perfect on the control. And Miss Bun looked worried and I think he has a reason. He must get into the match now. And that means taking chances. Seven, one. And he has to succeed in order to get back into the game. But I doubt Yang Yang will let him now with such a comfortable lead. In the second game, I think Yang Yang Eight. is experienced enough to pull this match through. That's three unforced errors in a row. Three fairly tight line calls. All Malaysian umpires and serve linesmen here. The line calling has been spectacularly good. Umpires from abroad coming to assist the Malaysian counterparts. But the linesmen have done a great, great week's work. This is better. Lisbon trying to play a rally. Trying to get into the match. But again, it is obvious no, that Yang Yang is making no mistakes at all. And he just keeps the shot going until Lisbon makes some, some unforced errors or forced errors. Yang Yang has everything under control now. difficult cross-court net shot the control of this man the speed if ever there was any doubt about who was number one in the world it's clear now another mistake 11 1 this has been of course one of a famous badminton family in Malaysia three of his brothers still to appear this evening. Well, one. He looks pretty dispirited now. Everything he tries, either just out or into the net. This is exactly the start that China would have wanted. I think that was Yang Yang's first real mistake and it was a very difficult one. But again, Lisbon can't control depth of shot onto the back line. Oh, well, Yang Yang even dropped his racket. I don't think Mr. noticed it. Had he noticed, I'm sure he could have hit a winner there, but I, I think he was too concentrated on the shot. And another mistake. 14, match point one. Royal Box looking impressive. 14-1 in only 17 or 18 minutes. Service over, 1-14. Not at all what this packed stadium in Kuala Lumpur wanted to see. Service over, 14-1. Service over, 1.14. Well, there have been some famous fight backs in international badminton, but I think this is asking a bit much. No, he doesn't 
really seems to know what he wants to do. He doesn't have a game plan. He's reacting to what his opponent is doing, not controlling the game at all. The pace of the game has slowed down. It looks to me as even as if Yang Yang has relaxed a bit. away from giving his country a one-love lead and he does it with a dazzling backhand that's it 15-2 15-2 in only 20 minutes Yang Yang the world champion the Chinese national champion 15-2 puts China one up that's pretty much the start they would have wanted yes Yang Yang must be congratulated for playing an absolutely superb match. This one must have felt as he was playing against the wall. Yang Yang made no mistakes. He was cool and calm. And he, he controlled the game right from the start. This could try different approaches, um, but simply couldn't cope. An extremely good player, of Yang Yang. And here you see last point again that was the one before there you have a view of the stadium the announcer calling the next match on to court 